Hi everybody, this is Nikki from Transform Nursing, your go-to nurse guru for social justice issues. And I told you I would update you about the training that I did last week for equal opportunity and diversity at the University of Maryland. And it turns out it wasn't a bad training. It wasn't quite what I thought it was gonna be. They asked some intriguing questions. And I found that the question that they asked that was really, really good was, what are your thoughts about equal employment opportunities Meaning, what do you believe is equal employment? And some people said things like, I think it's being colorblind. And some people said things like, well, I think it's treating everyone equally. And when they got around to me, I was like, okay, I'm already feeling like the heat rising and I'm feeling my heart pattering. First of all, because I have to talk. <laughs> but secondly, because I said, I know what I'm gonna say is probably a little bit different. And I said, well, I really think that it's not about being colorblind at all. I think it's about being color aware because as much as we try to say that we're colorblind, we really aren't. We live in a very color aware society. And so I said, and I really don't think it's about equality either because we don't need to have equal access. Each group though, that needs to have certain additional access, we need to grant that to them. So if there's a group that's underserved or underprivileged, it may not be equal for them. That may not work. They may, may need to have a little bit more until at least the playing field is leveled. And so I learned a little bit. One thing that they didn't really talk about was a working definition of terms. So we didn't define diversity. We didn't define inclusion, but they did define implicit bias, which I thought was actually really, really powerful. So I looked that up for you here and I want to share with you what unconscious or implicit bias is. And it is a positive or negative mental attitude towards a person, thing, or group that a person holds at a subconscious level. Very, very deep, everybody, because that means that you're not even aware that you have them. <sighs> Oh my gosh, it's so real. So we'll talk more about that unconscious and implicit bias a little bit later. But that's what I learned. That's what I want to share with you is that there's so much to learn when you're thinking about diversity and what's really going on. And we want to think about how can we be the best nurses that we can possibly be for our clients who are living in very vulnerable situations and who are living in underserved conditions. So definitely follow me at my blog at transformnursing.com. You'll find great new material almost all the time with great content and information. And stay tuned for the course that's coming in December. I'm so excited. Thanks so much for staying tuned to Transform Nursing. Have a great day.